So you're not feeling any better, huh? Her fever's 103.1 this morning. Last night it was 103.3, huh? So I think we're going to take her to the doctor. She has a lot of mucus, yucky nose, she's shaking, huh, baby? Right? My poor baby. Good morning, guys. As I was saying, Miss Sophia's not feeling good. How are you feeling, Allie? You're fine? Fine. Good. My throat hurts a little, but that's probably because I haven't drank That's how blood. Sophia started. So yesterday after skating, she was feeling perfect. Well, she was tired, which I thought it was just because she was skating. And then she started running a fever of 102.4 when we got home. So we gave her medicine later down. She felt a little bit better after her medicine. We gave her Motrin um, and she felt a little bit better and then she started not feeling good at night. We woke up, how many times did we get up last night? Five or six times. Like five or six times because she was just crying and just she was just not feeling good, poor baby. So then <clears throat> I checked her in the middle of the night and it was 103.3 so I gave her some more medicine and then this morning when she woke up, it was 103.1. So I just wanna go get her checked out to see if it's the flu or a strep throat or anything like that. Cause she originally started out with a sore throat, but she says it doesn't hurt now. But I mean, she's just, she's shaking. She has cold chills. My poor baby. Does your body ache, Sophie? Yeah. So your body aches and everything. So <clears throat> we're gonna take her to the little pediatric doctor and. Um, like the after hours or whatever it's called and see how she's doing and of course I didn't even hairspray my hair or anything like that we all look like bums today <laughs> whatever right your kid's sick you haven't slept all night it is what it is right baby so we're gonna go get her checked out We just did the flu test, so we're gonna see how that goes, right? Yeah, they think she does have the flu, huh? <laughs> Daddy's covering everything. <laughs> no flu here. So this is her medicine that she has to take. It's Tamiflu. She has to take it for 10 days. And then also because her fever's so high, she has to take Motrin and, um, Tylenol every four hours. So she'll take this for four hours and then she'll take this for four hours as long as she has a fever. Once her fever breaks, then she no longer has to have these two. So an update on Sophia. She um, had to get the cotton swab in her nose to see if she has the flu. Um, it's supposed to come back within 15 minutes and it came back right away with she does have flu, stra um, flu strand B is what she has. What does that mean? I don't know, but they said that it's in her lungs, in her, um, right? Just her lungs, I think, yeah. I so saying. it's flu B. I'm gonna look it up online and see exactly what's the difference, but it's just the strand of the flu, of what flu she has. Um, so she was definitely tested positive for that, so she is out of school tomorrow, which I was gonna keep her out anyways because of her fever. Um, when we tested her, temperature when we left here was 103.4 when we got there it was still 101 so what they did was um even though we had just given her tylenol an hour later she was still running a fever and it did not break so they had to give her some motrin so she is feeling better for right this second she looks terrible though don't you pumpkin but she has to have lots of rest she needs to eat a little bit um, so that way she could take her Tamiflu. Um, she will be on that for the next 10 days. And then um, that should help her, I hope. And so we're going to sanitize the whole house, clean up, take showers because we've just been in the doctor's office. And the doctor was like, yeah, you know, we've had a lot of patients come in. It wasn't just for one. You know, usually it's just for the flu. She's like, we've had flu and um, what else? Strap. Strep and mono and she started naming all these things and Jason's like I gotta get out of here so he went outside and hung out outside um <laughs> because he had a little bit of anxiety about being so sick and everybody being sick so we're definitely going to wash our hands wash our bodies and change clothes because
because we don't want to get sick, right? Yeah, and she's, she's gonna. Like, she's like my um, sorry, uh, like my fifth grade teacher. Um, she was a germaphobe. Yeah. We cleaned every single Friday and or, or almost every single day when flu yes. came around. And I'm gonna go ahead and keep her home tomorrow because it's technically vacation. They have a makeup day because of the hurricanes. But I'm just going to keep her home so that way she doesn't get sick. And if she does have the flu, she doesn't. she's not showing symptoms right now. But if she does, I don't want to get anybody else sick. So we're going to go take care of Sophia, get her some medicine, and then put her to sleep for a little bit and just relax today. That's all we can do. It tastes really bad. I know. But she has her little icy here, so we're trying to see if it helps to drink some of the medicine and then drink some of that, huh, baby? Can you try? Let me see you do it. Show them how you do it. Come on, pumpkin. I know you don't want to. Oh, he knows you're not feeling good. Don't you, Cosmo? Do you know she's sick? Huh? Do you know that she's not feeling good and you're loving her? You're so sweet to her. I hear the ice cream man. <laughs> what? You are so sweet to your mama. <laughs> and he's sweet. You look much better. You feeling good? Yeah, as best as you can. Get plenty of sleep, okay? Rest. There's my little toots walking around. How you feel? Good. Good? That medicine's making you feel better, huh? Hi, Gizzies. Say hi, so so. Well, my hubby's cooking for us, aren't you? I'm trying. What are you making? Chicken. Well, there's nothing here. I guess we're I guess we're eating water and oil. <laughs> I'm kidding, guys. We are eating the five cheese bread, garlic bread, some chicken that he made on the grill last night, some fettuccine alfredo sauce. And because we don't have fettuccine Alfredo, he's making these noodles that Sophia recommended. Right? What does she want? Right, Missy Poo? Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm glad you're feeling a little bit better. That's good news. Huh, Alex? Alex! Aw. He's like, hey, Soph. Okay, I'm out of here. I'm not going to touch Alex's cat. Yeah. No, it won't get her sick, but... <laughs> Silly. Okay, here's dinner. So exciting. Jason made this, as I was saying. He has the chicken in here, some noodles, some cheese. There's the garlic bread, and we're going to eat. You feeling better? Good. I'm glad you're feeling better. Sorry it's all about her sickness today, but it's reality. That's what you deal with, right? When you're sick, we just stay home and have a sick day, right, boo? Right, boo, -boo? Yeah. <laughs> Can you say goodbye and thank you for all the well wishes and everybody's been so sweet and said I hope Sophia feels better. Isn't that nice? What do you say? Thank you. <laughs> okay, we're going to say goodnight. We're going to go to bed early tonight and get some rest. Right, Allie? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good night. I'm not going to get some rest at all. Why? You want to stay up all night, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't have school for a whole entire week. I know. Must be nice. You're going to let me sleep in tomorrow, no. right? Yes. Yes, so I, can, so I can have my relaxation time. And then you can just sleep peacefully. And you're going to sleep in too, right? Yeah. Plus, today I slept really good. Yeah, you did. The you slept a lot. I'll keep that slobbering on my neck. Oh. Okay. Oh, about six in the morning. Six in the morning? Are you insane? Can you even ask my friend to text them? Allison, don't be texting people at 6 a.m. They wake up at like 3 in the morning, Mom. Oh my gosh. I wake up at 9. Yeah, that's not too bad. Like 8 or 9. Okay, bye guys. Nope.